Hello, welcome to another petrol blog lockdown video. In this video, it's a pre-MOT check and clean for the Toyota Camry. Um, I'd just like to point out this video will contain the sound of goats at some point, right on cue. Um, the little goats are growing up fast and they want to explore more than we're prepared to give them at the moment. Um, so yeah, this is um, the pre-MOT check and clean for the 1997 Toyota Camry regular or my regular viewer would have noticed that she has new plates at the front. Um, at the last MOT, there were four advisories. She went straight through, but there were four advisories, front and rear number plates, um, CV boot, CV joint. So the, the plates have been done. And in the interest of transparency, I will point out that I made a complete boo-boo. Boo-boo? A bit whatever. Um, Horlicks of, of the screw. I put the screws in the wrong place originally. And, um, yeah, anyway, they look, I, can I say they look better? I, I actually preferred it with the old, with the old sort of Puddle Town logo underneath, but these are now um, not gonna come up on an advisory, so that's good. And um, one thing I noticed when I was doing the place is that the little recess here for smaller plates, and um, it's got a little, little plimp for UK plates here, so it mounts over the top of the trim it would have looked much nicer with a smaller sort of Japanese or Australian plate sat in there. But hey, you can't have everything. I've got a camera, so I can't complain. I've also noticed that the grill badge is looking a bit worse for wear. And actually saying that, I've also noticed that this light has... I've got my bobble hat on, look. Bobble hat, I'm a proper rallying man today. Um, yeah, this, this light has got a lot of condensation in it, a lot of water, and actually the bottom of it is very grimy. So I need a new headlight not for the MOT but in general there's a horse hair on there and also I need a new not as much condensation this one but I think technically not technically that's a rubbish word to use yeah sorry goes um I would like a new set of headlights and certainly a new in uh, side repeater or indicator on this side side repeater fine um because that's looking a bit grim you know with the new plates they're looking a bit tidier now so it'd be nice to finish the job um she had a new set of Tom Conti's before the last MOT and they've hardly turned a wheel since the last MOT because of lockdown and because of the drive shaft. Um, so they're going to go straight through. I haven't, they were all down. They're all 24 as opposed to um, 33. So um, they were all down on, all down on um, pressure. Um, what else can we say? Yeah, well this, as you remember, this has been like this ever since the car was a few months, well, no, not a few months old, a few years old when the previous owner, the second owner, bought it and there was an accident. I think someone, a boat trailer reversed into it and he had this door refinished. And actually, the, it's a really good job because you can't... Oh, there's Gimbal, man. I'm, I, I am the world's worst Gimbal user. Some people would edit this out, I just carry on. Oh, by the way, lots of Christmas trees. Well, not only are we at home for the... for rescued goats, we're also home for Christmas trees because goats love Christmas trees. So this will keep them going for a few months. I digress, as is commonplace for this channel. So um, at some point, oh, there goes the gimbal again. Shall I edit, edit that out? No, of course I'm not. Um, I am going to pluck up the courage to respray this because I don't think I can make a too bad a job of it. And actually, I've noticed today, oh, she's going to make a lot of noises now. Let me just turn. I have done all the pre-flight checks. So I don't need to keep them going. There is a lot of rust here. Not good. You see it's actually coming apart there and it's the only bit of bad, well, corrosion. It's only corrosion on the car completely. So I would like to get that done. Um, there's a lot of lack of peel I've noticed today. The winter hasn't, well, 2020 wasn't kind to her in terms of lack of peel. Um, I'm gonna open the boot because I want something to show you. Um, you know, I don't know if you remember, but this this has lost most of its lacquer. It's starting to come off now in, well, you could wrap your sandwiches in this. I wouldn't recommend it, but um, you could. So big chunks are falling off now. And as you can see, it's, um, yeah, it's gone. Um, but I think that's an easy spray job. Easy to match that up. Actually, the roof is going as well. There's the um, bits for the drive shaft. The roof is going, oh, this is coming handy. Everyone needs a squeegee in the winter if you've got cars with dodgy seals. Um, yeah, you can see the back window 
lots of condensation on the inside. I mean, she's been covered in ice and snow for the past best part of two weeks. And um, so she's, it's the first time she's actually had a wash for ages. Um, well, I was digressing. Yeah, oh yes, there's some lacquer peel now on the roof. So she's um, got something in common with the, with the Zara. That's annoying, I have to say, that is really annoying. Um, I'm not gonna fret, fret too much about it, but it needs to be sorted out at some point. The other big news, it's not big news, not exciting in the slightest, um, new wipers. Um, they were gone, as I'll overlay a picture to show you how badly they, they had gone. So um, I thought I'd treat myself to a set of Bosch Aerosmiths from um, wiperblaze.co.uk. They came within a couple of days. Um, and I, I love, I love, wipe, I, love um, I know some people don't like aero wipers on older cars because obviously they're not period. And on the Corrado, I'm very lucky that I've got, um, it's the Lupo GTI upgrade. So you get the entire arm. So it looks a lot better. And I have to say, these look a bit ugly. But the, hello goats. But this doesn't look as bad as it is on the Zara. They really stick out on the Zara. Um, but I felt a car of this quiet and this smoothness deserves the best wipers. So she's got a set of Aerosmiths. So I'll let you know how I get on with those. But that's it. I mean, in terms of the MOT, obviously the drive shaft needs to be done and that'll be done before the MOT. I've specifically, I had to get the word, I want to say it right first time, specifically ask them to do that before they do the MOT. You know, I, I'm not, ex this is, I'm going to touch wood. I'm not expecting a huge disaster. I'm sure she'll fail on a couple of things, but you know, bearing in mind she's done a couple of hundred miles since the last MOT, um, of which there were only a few advisories and they're all going to be sorted. You'd argue that she should, should be okay. Um, I've given the clean, given the interior a clean, to get rid of the mold. There was a bit of mold, but the, the seals on this aren't bad. So not a lot of mold inside, but it just smells fresher. And I'm always of the opinion that an, a, car, a good clean car is, will impress an MOT tester. If, it, if you've made the effort to clean the car, make it easier for the MOT tester, um, it's, um, this car stands a better chance. It's not gonna, not gonna mask any deficiencies. But um, I'm sure MOT testers appreciate clean, um, testing clean cars. And um, she got a special treatment today. She got some Saab glass cleaner. 70% of the time it works every time, that stuff. It's very potent. Um, disappointing, disappointing news. Um, I was going to tell you that the CD player was working. But it has stopped working. 2021 has started with the CD player stopping working. Having said that, it wasn't working when I bought her, but it was working a few weeks ago. So I'm a little bit disappointed. I was going to show you something really exciting and see what, what CD's in there. Um, oh, the other thing, if you've been following me on Twitter since the very... Should I turn that down? Since the very early days, you'll know that... The electric aerial is a sign that all is well in the world. I need to rush out quick. If the electric aerial works, things are good in the world. I've got nobody, I've got no glamorous assistant today, so I'm gonna have to show you this. So if I just position this so you can see the Christmas trees at the same time. Look, the electric aerial is in full working order. Although a little bit of a, a little bit of a lip there. There you go. Now she's fully erect. Superb. Um, oh, and the other thing, the good thing, oh, Radio 3's going again. Um, these these weren't springing back earlier. Um, the, the, the cigarette, why would I call that even a cigarette? I am terrible at videos. I'll never ever make it as a YouTuber. Um, the spring, they weren't latching in earlier on. They are now. I put some glue in, um, glue. You know, I should really script these videos. Um, I put some oil in there and it's better now. So that's fine. So all in all, the Camry is in good shape. She'll be going across to the testing station tonight, dropping her off. Um, and I'll give him a ring in tomorrow to make sure. In the morrow? God above, I need to stop. Um, I will give him a ring in the morning to make sure all is well. Um, and um, that's it. So Camry, Camry MOT, short video. Um, what can I say? Um, I just put people's mind at rest that the fleet isn't disappearing. Um, there's no chance in the world of the beer money Safran 
being um, axed or um, leaving the fleet. Um, in fact, I've got two or three plan, different plans for her, which I'll reveal in a separate video. One sort of sensible plan, one slightly optimistic plan, and one bold and adventurous plan. Um, so no cars are leaving the fleet. It's just a, it was just a quick video to say that we had this conversation over dinner and we had a vote on which cars we, li we liked almost in order and which cars, if we had to choose four, which cars would we keep? And they were the four that came out top. So um, thank you for all the many emails. I've, I've got loads of emails to reply, so I probably I haven't replied to anyone yet. Um, I will do, um, but no cars are leaving the fleet. Um, and with that, um, thank you for watching. And um, in the next video, I will reveal the results of the MOT test for this car and also the results of the 1980s Best Car of the 1980s Club Petrol Blog um, prize draw. And there are also some, some new members to, to acknowledge and say thank you to. So that's it. Um, stay safe and um, thank you for watching.